Question 1. A patient with an acute attack of gout is treated with colchicine. The nurse determines that the drug is effective upon finding a. Relief of joint pain b. Increased urine output c. Elevated serum uric acid d. Decreased white blood cells WBC Correct answer is a. Relief of joint pain Rationale Colchicine produces pain relief in 24 to 48 hours by decreasing inflammation. The recommended increase in fluid intake of 2 to 3 L a day would increase urine output, but would not indicate the effectiveness of colchicine. Elevated uric acid levels would result in increased symptoms. The WBC count might decrease with decreased inflammation but this would not be as useful in determining the effectiveness of colchicine as a decrease in pain. Question 2. A patient with gout tells the nurse that he takes Lozartan Kozar, for control of the condition. The nurse will plan to monitor a. Blood glucose b. Blood pressure c. Erythrocyte count D. Lymphocyte count. Correct answer is B. Blood pressure. Rationale Lozartan, an angiotensin II receptor antagonist, will lower blood pressure. It does not affect blood glucose, red blood cell count, RBC, or lymphocytes. Question 3. A long-term care patient who takes multiple medications develops acute gouty arthritis. The nurse will consult with the health care provider before giving the prescribed dose of A. Sertraline, Zoloft B. Famotidine, Pepsid C. Oxycodone, Roxycodone D. Hydrochlorothiazide, Hydrodiural Correct answer is D. Hydrochlorothiazide, hydrodiural. Rationale Diuretic use increases uric acid levels and can precipitate gout attacks. The other medications are safe to administer. Question 4. When caring for a patient with gout and a red and painful left great toe, which nursing action will be included in the plan of care? A. Gently palpate the toe to assess swelling. B. Use pillows to keep the left foot elevated. C. Use a footboard to hold bedding away from the toe. D. Teach patient to avoid use of acetaminophen, Tylenol. Correct answer is C. Use a footboard to hold bedding away from the toe. Rational. Since any touch on the area of inflammation may increase pain, bedding should be held away from the toe, and touching the toe will be avoided. Elevation of the foot will not reduce the pain, which is caused by the urate crystals. Acetaminophen can be used for pain relief. Question 5. While performing a physical assessment of a male client with gout of the great toe, Nurse Vivian should assess for additional TOFI urate deposits on the A. Buttocks B. Ears C. Face D. Abdomen The correct answer is B. Ears Rationale Uric acid precipitate and form deposits at various sites where blood flow is least active, including cartilaginous tissue such as the ears. Question 6. Gout usually affects the first metatarsophalangeal joint and is a result of hyprosemic serum uric acid levels less less than 6.8 mg per dl. 
A. True. B. False. The correct answer is B. False. Rationale. Gout is as a result of increased hyper uric acid urate accumulation. Question 7. When assessing the patient with gout, the nurse notices subcutaneous nodules and that cause the patient pain. These nodules are called A. Gout bodies B. Louis bodies C. Tophie D. Uric acid stones The correct answer is C. Tophi. Rationale. Tophi occur when monosodium urate crystals accumulate in the soft tissue. Question 8. A 75-year-old male is admitted for chronic renal failure. You note that the patient has white or yellowish nodules on the helix of the ear and fingers. The patient reports they are not painful. As you document your nursing assessment findings, you will document this finding as A. Nodosa B. Colloid C. Dermoid D. Tophi The correct answer is D. Tophi Rationale this question has also appeared multiple times, but in different forms. Question 9. Allopurinol, Xyloprim, for treatment of gout. You've provided education to the patient about this medication. Which statement by the patient requires you to re-educate them about this medication? A. This medication will help relieve the inflammation and pain during an acute attack. B. It is important I have regular eye exams while taking this medication. C. I will not take large doses of vitamin C supplements while taking this medication. D. Allopurinol decreases the production of uric acid. The correct answer is A. This medication will help relieve the inflammation and pain during an acute attack. Rationale Allopurinol is used to prevent gout attacks. It is not used to treat an acute attack. NSAIDs and colchicine are best for treating the inflammation and pain during a gout attack. Allopurinol can cause vision changes. Therefore, the patient should receive annual eye exams along with avoiding large doses of vitamin C due to the risk of renal calculi formation. Question 10. During an acute gouty arthritis attack, treatments to lower urate levels should be administered within the next 24 hours. The patient is receiving treatment and is feeling better within hours. He does not want to take any more of this medicine and wishes to return home. What should the nurse do first? A. Advise the patient to avoid meats and alcohol, and she will be back to normal in a few days. Take NSAIDs for pain as needed. B. Restrain the patient and force her to take her medications. C. Explain that during an acute gout attack, Urate-lowering therapy should not be interrupted even if you are feeling better. It is important to follow the protocol. D. Ask the provider if the patient will be okay just taking corticosteroids. The correct answer is C. Explain that during an acute gout attack, urate-lowering therapy should not be interrupted even if you are feeling better. It is important to follow the protocol. Rationale. Urate lowering therapy should not be interrupted after implementation. Corticosteroids are administered after no TOFI on an exam and achieving an appropriate serum urate. 
or for six months exam, shows greater or equal to one TOFI. Merely avoiding meats and alcohol will not resolve acute symptoms. Restraining the patient is not recommended. End of questions. Watch out for more Alveoli e-learning exam series. Subscribe, comment and like our videos on our YouTube channel. Thank you.